Did you know that insects don't have to be huge to be dangerous? A lab-bred crazy bee or an ant with an insane sting can be much more dangerous than a giant insect. And the most dangerous insect in the world isn't large at all, but it kills more people each year than lions or sharks. You'll be surprised to find out what this creature is. In this episode, I'll show you this creature as well as several other extremely dangerous insects that you should stay away from. Let's go. Many of you have probably been bitten by red ants at least once in your life. The feeling's very unpleasant, isn't it? It feels like you've been pinched very hard and the pain lasts for several minutes. But actually, a red ant bite is stroking compared to what the bullet ants that live in Central and South Africa do. No, they're not called bullets because they're fast as bullets, but because their bite literally feels like a gunshot wound. On the Schmidt Sting Pain Index, a bullet ant's bite is 4 plus out of 4 plus, which is the highest index of any insect in the world. For comparison, the bite of the red ant is 1.2 on the same index. People who have been bitten by bullet ants said they felt as if they'd walked over hot coals or that they'd actually been shot with a gun. The bite of just one of these ants is extremely painful, though it's even creepy to think about what would happen if you were bitten by several of these little monsters at once. It's probably like being in the middle of a gunfight. As for the bite itself, its incredible power is explained by the fact that bullet ants possess the strongest venom, surpassing the venom of any wasp or bee. It's the strength of this venom that causes incredible painful sensations and makes these insects one of the most dangerous in the world. Maricopa Harvester Ant Another ant, Maricopa Harvester Ant, is no less dangerous. It's a stinging ant species that has one of the strongest venoms of all insects. Maricopa harvester ants live in North America. They're especially abundant in warm states such as California, New Mexico, Texas, and Utah. There are also many Maricopa harvester ants in northern Mexico. These monsters are easy to recognize. Their reddish color and small size of up to one centimeter are the main feature. But despite their tiny size, they're very dangerous insects. In 1996, Scientists from the University of Florida conducted a study and found that the Maricopa harvester ant has incredibly toxic venom that's 20 times stronger than that of the honeybee. If you've been stung by a bee at least once in your life, you should understand how dangerous this ant is. People who have been stung by these ants say that the pain is comparable to drilling into an ingrown toenail which lasts more than 8 hours. In general, the sensation of meeting with this monster is as unpleasant as possible so it's better to try to avoid these ants. It's hard not to be afraid of hornets, and it's even harder not to be afraid of Asian giant hornets. Why? Because they're the biggest hornets on the planet. They got their name very deservedly. The length of some individuals can exceed 5 centimeters. The wingspan of these insects often exceeds 7.5 centimeters, and the sting is almost 6 millimeters long. Just imagine such a mega hornet. The biggest Asian giant hornets can be even larger than the smallest hummingbirds. As the name implies, the Asian giant hornets live in Asia, in China, Japan, Korea, India, Nepal, and Sri Lanka. But they can also be found in some regions of the Russian Far East and even in some parts of Canada and the United States. The hornet is dangerous not only because of its size. Size is only part of the fierce features of this monster. These insects produce highly toxic venom. So the sting of this hornet is much more dangerous and painful than that of other hornet species. Entomologists who have been bitten by these giants said that it's comparable to the sensation of stepping on a nail. But that's not all. This giant can sting many times. Its stinger doesn't break and does not remain in the victim. And even that's not all. A person who's allergic to bee and wasp venom is a potential victim of this insect and is unlikely to survive the stinging of the Asian monster. Some of you may have already thought that the Asian giant hornet is the most dangerous insect in the world. But trust me, it's not as dangerous as the other insects from this episode because size doesn't always matter. Stay tuned to learn about the tiny insects that transmit more than 20 diseases, see the cute caterpillar that you shouldn't touch, and learn about the insect that's the most dangerous on the entire planet. Let's move on. Fleas Many people don't take fleas seriously. Probably they think that such tiny insects are incapable of causing harm. At most, they can cause discomfort. Not at all. It's the size of the fleas that's their main weapon. Tiny fleas are almost impossible to notice because they reach only a few millimeters in length. But fleas are known not only for their tiny size but also for their amazing leaping ability. 
Some species can jump up to 18 centimeters vertically and up to 33 centimeters horizontally. It's as if a person could jump 60 to 70 meters at a single stroke. But the most important thing that many people don't know about is that fleas are disease carriers. These babies transmit up to 25 different infections and diseases, among which there are very, very serious. For example, hepatitis B, hepatitis C, encephalitis, salmonella, and even plague. In addition, fleas themselves cause two diseases in humans, polycosis and tungiasis. One jump, one bite, and man can catch several very unpleasant diseases, from which he'll then be treated for a long time. And in some cases, a flea bite can even lead to death. Therefore, we must fight fleas very seriously because, as you can see, these insects can be rightly called one of the most dangerous in the world. Scientific experiments can be very different. For example, scientists once bred super mosquitoes that were successful in destroying dangerous insects. But in 1956, Brazilian scientists bred a special bee, a hybrid of the African bee and various bee breeds common in Europe. The new species was called the Africanized Killer Bee. Sounds creepy, and for good reason, because the experiment got a little out of hand. A few years after the experiment, these bees modified, mutated, spread across South America, and began attacking humans and livestock. Apparently, the scientists overdid it and bred bees that were too aggressive. The insects attacked humans and animals very violently and ruthlessly. These bees attack anyone who appears within five meters of their hive and chase their attackers for half a kilometer, sometimes even further. They also sting very painfully. So attacks by Africanized killer bees can often be fatal, like a plot for a Hollywood blockbuster. Pus Caterpillar Many of the insects from this episode are not only dangerous but also look quite creepy. But can this cute, fluffy caterpillar do any harm? It looks very unusual like a mop of mottled hair. Someone may even want to take this creature in their arms, but you shouldn't do that. This caterpillar wouldn't be in this episode if it weren't dangerous, right? This is the pus caterpillar, often called the woolly slug or pus moth, and it's very venomous and insidious. Beneath the fluffiness, there are numerous spines through which the venom is released. These spines break easily, so they remain inside the skin after contacting with them. The pus moth's venom causes severe burning around the affected area, nausea, headache, piercing abdominal pain, and severe dizziness. And in some cases, contact with the caterpillar can even lead to lymph node damage and respiratory failure. Such is the deception of nature. Triatomini Triatomini have another simpler and more understandable name, kissing bugs. They're called kissing bugs because they usually bite in the lip area, and they usually bite people. Believe me, this is far from a sweet kiss because these bed bugs are carriers of dangerous parasites that cause Chagas disease. After a kiss, a person may develop the first symptoms of the disease – fever, headache, enlarged lymph nodes, etc. After a few weeks, the disease progresses to the chronic stage. In the early stage, the disease is well treated, but if left untreated, it can lead to death of the patient. About 12,500 people die of Chagas disease each year. So, kissing bugs can be rightfully called as one of the most dangerous insects in the world. The good news is that these bugs are not widespread. They're mostly found in the tropical regions of Central and South America. And finally, the main hero of this episode, the most dangerous insect in the world. Could it be another giant hornet? Or an ant with an even more toxic venom? Not at all. You all know what the most dangerous insect in the world looks like, because it's a mosquito. Yeah, that's the mosquito. The malarial mosquito, to be precise. Are you surprised that a mosquito tops the list of the most dangerous insects on the planet? I was surprised at first, too, but now you'll see that the mosquito is rightfully at the top. The malarial mosquito doesn't boast large size or a painful bite, but it does boast the title of carrier of dangerous parasite, malaria pathogen. The mosquito is infected by an infected person or other carrier and then bites other people spreading the infection at a high rate. Given that there are so many mosquitoes, the scale of the infestation is staggering. In equatorial and sub-equatorial Africa, where malarial mosquitoes are especially numerous, hundreds of thousands of people fall victim to them every year. 
And if you take the global scale, malarial mosquitoes infect about 200 million people every year. A large amount of these people die. If we take pallid statistics and look at the number of victims, then we can conclude the malarial mosquito is not only the most dangerous insect, but also the most dangerous animal in the world as a whole. Even many formidable and large predators kill tens, hundreds, or thousands of times fewer people each year than mosquitoes do. That's all, guys. Which insects are you the most afraid of? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching and see you later.